Hi Isha, I'm back and this is Casa Cinco Zero y Dos 502. It, it's really beautiful. It's on the end. It's on the end close to the hotel so it should be really quiet. One of the pools is not too far. You would, you would need to do some walking to get to any of the pools. Let me see if I can show you. It, this one rears up on the end of the golf course and it, it will have amazing mountain views. You can see the mountains back there. Let me give you a panoramic of this. Okay, so there's the mountains and the golf course. There's a lot of vegetation here, but this is the back corner of the house. So it's really on the edge. This is probably the house also, yeah. Yeah, this is all the house, 502. On the edge of the development, it looks like there's a lot. No, that's half the house. I see the plaque here says 503, so we have a neighboring house the same color and then a vacant lot on the other side. And there's your upstairs balcony, drain spout. Okay, let's go back to the front area. This is the courtyard that you walk through to get to 502. Beautiful yellow house. The number plaque is a little bit covered. You definitely want a viewing tower. Then you can see the sea. The sea, the ocean is this way. The Sea of Cortez, and then you'd have amazing mountain views behind you. This is uh, more of the courtyard. And I'll walk you back away from the house. So this is going toward the road, the paseo, where you would park your car. It's not far to walk. See the road? A lot of places have a lot more walking to unload your things, which, which is, which is fine. But this would be really convenient. And there is parking. And that is the end of the development. So you're right, right on the edge. And then the hotel is over there through those trees. And then the rest of the development is this way. They're, like I said though, they're all wonderful. Every house is beautiful. Charming, friendly, everywhere here.